In this tutorial, we'll continue looking at vertex groups, and, but we'll look at them associated with cloth and also with uh, weight painting as well. And that's a really powerful tool. So here's just a regular plane in here. Let me go in, look at all the vertices like that, make sure I'm in vertex select mode like this. And then down here, I'm going to create a couple of groups like I just showed in the previous video. In this case, I'm going to grab all the corners like that. And I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it the corner group and I'm going to assign it a value of 1. And I'm not going to do anything else to the, that. And then I'm going to deselect it. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select that center piece and I'm going to call that the center group. And I'm going to assign that a value of 1. I'm going to assign, assign it, deselect that. And then the next group I'm going to create is going to be called the painted group. Yikes, what happened? Is painted group. And the painted group, let's see what we're going to do. We have this weight of 1 for starters and I'm going to come up over here into this menu and I'm going to go into weight paint. And I'm going to paint with a, with this weight over here like this. And bring up my menu here with T and then you see it has a weight of 1 but I have a strength of 0.347. I'll give it a strength like that. I'm going to give it a full that red is solid ones right in there. All right, so I'm going to give it a little bit less strength now and paint along here and maybe less strength and paint here. Whoops. Well, you kind of get the idea and well, you got to give it a little bit of strength like this and I'll just paint these the rest like that. All right. If you keep going over it, it'll keep adding it up into it. See there a little bit more like that. All right, so I've painted my weights onto the scene as well. So let's go look at the, the cloth object in here. I'll start it from scratch so you see it. I just grab one of these. I'll start the center group. Got to pin it. And we'll go look at it. Run Alt A. Okay, there it is pinned there. And then, well, we might as well just keep running it because we, while it's running, you can just go change and then go look at the corner group. And there's the corner group pin like that. And then the painted group. See, it's got to come back to the painted group. And there it is painted. You can see just so those are fixed there like that. And you can verify that. If you just go back into weight paint mode, there's the painted group. And if we go in, we look at the center group. No, we're going to have to go into the vertex group. Go into, there's the center group. And there's the... Can't see that? I know I can see it. Hang on. Let's just select the corner group and then go into weight paint mode. How come I can't see it, huh? That's the oddest thing. I should be able to see that. There's my center group painted like that. There's my painted group like that. I know that works. Let's go into here. Well, that's new to me. I should actually see all those things. I know if you get an edge, you'll see the whole thing. Well, anyway, that kind of gives you an idea. And I'll have to look into that, but that's kind of strange. You should see all those corners uh, painted red in that case on those corner group vertex groups, huh? Okay, well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.